Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica with Memory Box Candle Co. And I make videos all about the journey of starting a candle business. And today's video, I have another first impressions out of the bottle fragrance oil kind of haul for you guys. And this time I am mixing two different companies together. So I recently got sent Candle Science's new uh, fragrance oils and then also California Candle Supply gave me their new fragrance oils as well. So I have not smelled any of these. So I wanted to do it on camera because I really enjoy just having that first impression um, where it's, you know, I've really never smelled it before and it's just kind of an authentic, what is this kind of scent? So I'm going to get started with California Candle Supply because there's four of these and there are six of the Candle Science scents. So the first scent is Black Orchid and I'm assuming this is going to be kind of like a musky floral kind of scent. So let's see what, Jesus, this is really tight on there. Okay. Okay, yes, it is a musky, definitely musky. I'm getting almost kind of spicy. Something spicy in there, but definitely something floral. It's definitely not my favorite kind of masculine scent, but I could see this being really, really lovely in a fragrance and it almost smells like a higher end oil to me. It smells like something, you know what? There's something minty, maybe like eucalyptus or something kind of minty about it. Very interesting. I'm really interested to see the notes on this one. Um, yeah, this one, it's, it smells like a cologne. I wanna say it smells like a cologne. All right, next up, uh, we have this one right here, which Fleur de Oranger? I don't know. I'm terrible at pronouncing. You guys know I'm terrible at pronouncing things. So no clue, not even a guess on this one. Okay. Is there gardenia or like plumeria or something in here mixed with like a citrus? It's very interesting. And it almost smells like, so if you guys don't know, I really actually like gardenia in general, um, but uh, California Candle Supplies gardenia, I don't know what it is. I'm not a huge fan of. I don't know if there's a little bit in here mixed with like a citrus. There's something going on there, or maybe it, I can't tell, plumeria, gardenia, some kind of floral mixed with some kind of citrus is what I'm getting from this. The next one is white tea and sage. So I do really like white tea, so I'm very curious to know what this smells like. Ooh, okay, this one's my favorite out of all of them so far. Oh my gosh. This is very uh, clean, very like a breeze outside and just kind of like a clean scent. I'm wondering where the earthiness from the sage would come in. Okay, it smells like some kind of soap is the best way to do it. Kind of like a clean cotton, clean soap kind of scent. I actually really like it. And then the last one is white Prosecco. I wanna say that Prosecco is alcohol, like an alcoholic drink of some kind. Sounds familiar, but I don't know. Um, I don't drink, so I don't, I don't know if that's what it is. And I'm worried if it is alcohol, if it's gonna smell like it, we'll see. Oh. Yeah, yeah. De def okay, yeah, de definitely some kind of alcoholic drink here, but I don't get that really terrible scent. So I really don't like alcohol, so even smelling it is kind of like, uh. But I smell like the grape. I smell grape in here, so I wonder if it's supposed to be some kind of wine. Um, yeah, it smells like grape juice, but different, like a different version of grape juice. Um, so I'm wondering if it's supposed to represent um, kind of like a wine of some kind. 
Okay, so I'm all done with California Candle Supplies new scents. Now I'm moving on to Candle Science's new scents. And the bottles are just a little bit bigger. These are the four ounce ones. And this is strawberries and cream. Now I wanna say that this is a scent that is maybe um, like uh, it discontinued and then it came back, maybe it's reformulated because I wanna say that they've had a strawberries and cream before. Um, I think I liked it, but oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. So this smells like, like a strawberry jello pie <laughs> is the best way that I can describe it. Or like strawberries in general with whipped cream, which I, duh, Erica, strawberries and cream. So it smells exactly like what it says. Oh my gosh. This may be a really fun summer scent for me to come out with um, just because I'm starting to do my uh, limited collection releases for spring and summer a little bit different this year. So I'm just doing limited edition scents and that may be a limited edition scent because it's perfect for summer. This one I'm really interested in. It's Coffee Shop. Now, Candle Science has their fresh coffee, which is pretty good. It's very very, very like coffee bean um, kind of fragrance. It's very, very, very strong. Um, and I actually use that in my Malibu coffee shop scent, but I blend it with the flaming candle one. So I'm very interested to see what this one is gonna smell like. Oh, oh. Hmm. I'm getting more nuttiness in this one. So definitely coffee, but there's some sort of nuttiness that I'm getting with this one. So maybe there's more of like a hazelnut kind of note in there. Wow, okay, so that's very interesting. And I'm sure, just like with a lot of scents, this would be a kind of scent that would smell probably a lot different. You'd get a lot more different notes coming out of the candle when it's actually made into a candle and when it's burning. This next scent is Lily of the Valley, which I've only ever smelled scents where Lily of the Valley was part of the blended fragrance oil. So I know that this is gonna be more of a floral scent. Oh. Okay, this reminds me of the Sunflower and Sea Mist fragrance from Candle Cocoon. This smells very, very similar to it. I actually really like it. This also would be a really lovely fragrance to have just as kind of a limited edition spring summer collection kind of scent. Um, I think a lot of people really like Lily of the Valley. This one is called White Oak and Vanilla. Now I'm excited about this one because it kind of sounds like it's gonna be like a sweet vanilla mixed with maybe like a woodsy masculine kind of scent, um, which would definitely be right up my alley. Yes. Yes, definitely. This sounds like there this smells like something that that California Candle Supply has. Okay. You definitely get that woodsiness. Um you definitely get kind of that heavy cream vanilla notes in there. So it's just a very it, I could tell this definitely is probably a very heavy fragrance. But man, this is actually very nice, very masculine, a very masculine fragrance. The next scent is chamomile tea. So I'm assuming this may spell, may spell, this may smell very spa-like. Okay. No. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I'm not a tea person if that helps. <laughs> I'm not a big tea drinker. There's only a few teas that I like. I can't even keep smelling this. Not a fan, not a fan. But if you like tea, that is very authentic and um, I could see a lot of people really liking that one. The last one is much more up my alley because I love fruity scents, which is passion fruit pineapple. So I'm assuming I'm probably really gonna like this one. Ooh, oh yeah, this smells like, this smells like a straight up like tropical drink. Wow, 
This smells really, really good. Super fruity, super summery, super tropical. This also smells really familiar too. I don't know what it smells like, but man, this smells really, really good. Wow, that may be, no, I would say, I would say that I really liked the strawberries and cream, the lily of the valley. I like the coffee one. I don't know, I liked a lot of the scents that I smelled. I would say that Candle Science, I liked a little bit more of them with the variety that I had. I did really like the California Candle Supply, the white tea and sage one. Um, but uh, overall, I think my top, top favorite was probably the strawberries and cream. And I may actually be using this as a limited edition scent. But that is all for today's video. I really hoped you enjoyed seeing my first impressions out of the bottle of these new fragrance oils from these two companies. I know that it can be different with my first impressions out of the bottle. And if you're a candle maker, you know that things can change once the fragrance oil is actually blended with the wax. It can change the smell a little bit, depending on um, the hot throw can change and depending on how good the oil actually is. Uh, but to be honest, we have so much going on right now. We have a lot of markets. We have a lot of stuff behind the scenes that's going on. And sometimes it's just super easy for me to just do a fun out of the bottle instead of going through and making testers and doing all that kind of hot throw and stuff like that, which I still will do it in the future, but um, sometimes it's easier and just more fun and enjoyable for me to just make a quick video and just smelling all these fragrances for you to also see my first impressions as well. Um, but with that, I'm going to end today's video right here. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave it a big thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Memory Box Candle Co. And I will see you in my next video.